Good morning. It's Friday, January the 6th, 2017. It's extended season. I'm Greg, my son Jeremy, my grandson Gavrin. We're here in Jeremy's rifle blind, hoping to watch Gavrin take a, a doe or an antlerless or a, a nice buck. Uh, it's been pretty slow this morning. I guess you'll see that in a minute. Uh, this evening I'll probably go sit down by the river, try to shoot a doe uh, with my bow, and we'll probably have Dad and uh, Gavin up here in the rifle blind again, see if we can't get a doe. So stay with us. Hey guys, it's January 6th. This is the evening hunt. I'm down here by the river. I'm uh, gonna try to shoot a doe this evening. Uh, it's windy as you can tell. It's cold. It's only 24, 25 degrees out here. Probably about a 15 mile an hour wind. I don't know what the gusts are, but it's, it's pretty breezy and cold. Uh, on the way down, I dropped my dad and my son off up at the rifle blind. Uh, my dad wants Gavin to shoot him a doe, get him some meat in the freezer, so. Anyways, hopefully we'll have pretty good footage this evening. Uh, my dad's got a camera. I showed him how to work it, so hopefully he did pretty good on it. So y'all stay with us, and hopefully we get some good footage and some deer on the ground. been sitting about 30 45 minutes uh, lots of turkey flying around for some reason but I don't know if y'all can hear this wind it is blowing and it is cold my eyes are literally watering because of that wind is right in my face it's kind of like riding a four-wheeler or a ranger without a windshield on it you know that tears come down your cheeks and I'm sitting still I sure hope it pays off we're gonna sit here a little while and Hopefully a nice fat doe will come in and we'll put an arrow through her. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do my interview right quick. Uh, all the turkey came in and wiped out all the corn, so if the deer do come in, they're not gonna stick around for anything. We had a pretty cool encounter with that little doe that she had a broke jaw. She laid down about 21 yards from me and I was gonna put an arrow through her, but she never presented me with the shot. I have a branch right here in the way when she was laying down, I, I just couldn't make that shot. 
Anyways, I'm, I don't know the game plan. I don't know if Dad and Gavin shot him a, a doe or not. So as soon as I know something, I'll let y'all know. So y'all stay with us. It's January 7th, 2017. Gavin, my grandson, shot me a couple of dough for my freezer. This is our last hunt of the year. Be elite. Chest bone always start right at the edge on the upper edge and don't put that to the Don't be scared. Look. See that? Stop. Stop. You see that straight line? Okay, yeah, don't be cutting way over here. Cut straight line. Okay, so you have to cut up that brisket. Right here? Yeah, just shove it up in underneath the skin. Now you're going to have to cut this as you go. Can you not pull it out yet? No. See right here? Right here it's attached. Okay, pull. Hey, here's Gavin's two doe that he shot. We got him sitting on ice, bleeding him out, let all the blood run out of it. Uh, let it sit for about a week and today we start the processing. So we'll take you inside here in just a second and kind of give you an idea of what we're doing. Well, here's our setup for inside. We're in my wife's kitchen uh, using her dinner table. Uh, we take two buckets with water in it. Uh, we use one bucket for the steaks. This bucket would be for all the grind meat. Right now we're just using this bucket to bring in the meat, the loose meat inside. We're gonna dump it all out. Gavin will start trimming. Give it to me, I'll do the final trimming, cut, cut all the steaks, throw in the steak bucket, and obviously the grind bucket. Uh, as soon as we get done with all this, my daughter absolutely loves grinding, so we'll hook up the grinder, run it through the grinder. Uh, once it's finished with the grinder, we'll get some beef, mix a little bit of beef in with it, and start packaging it up and get it in the freezer. So we'll keep you all along as we, as we continue. Well, we got finished up for tonight. Uh, we still have a few more quarters that we need to do. Uh, anyways, this is... The grind meat, we've got a sink full of grind meat as well that we're cleaning. Uh, our steaks, trash, like I said, we're going to save these bones for the dogs, be some good nutrition for them. So, as soon as we get all the grind meat cleaned up, we're going to start grinding it, uh, mix in the beef with it. Uh, we're going to clean the steaks and get them packaged up. So, And this is the end result of grinding. We still have to add beef and re-grind it, but I got my two workers here going to town. Got it all stacked away in my refrigerator right now before we can get it in the freezer. Uh, it may not look like much right now, but that's 14 bags 
two pound bags of ground meat and we've got about eight bags of steaks right there and we're only halfway done come back over here we've still got another hind quarter and we've got four four quarters left so that'll get done probably tomorrow guys we just got done with the saturday night hunt crap it was friday we stopped it